So we all want our uh, family road trips to be stuff of lifelong memories and not stress. But sometimes travel can leave you wanting a vacation from your vacation. Podcast host and mom of three, Andrea Gonko is on a mission to take the stress out of the family travel. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. How are you? I'm, I'm doing awesome. I, remind me how old your three are again. So I have a toddler, two years old, a six year old and an eight year old, all boys. Oh, you're all boys. Okay, because I'm, I'm nine, seven, and five, so I'm just a little ahead of you, but I got a couple of girls mixed in there too, and it's always fun to travel with them, isn't it? It is fun, but it can be stressful. So that's what we're here to talk about, removing that stress from family travel. Okay, so we're, 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 what's, the, what's, the, what's the first step in getting rid of some of that stress? Okay, so Tim, bear with me because I've got some F words to share with you, okay? okay. If you want to remove the stress, I promise they're all PG friendly, they are safe for TV, but our expectations can be really high when it comes to summer travel because our summer season is so short. So we want to remember some F words that are gonna help us remove that stress. The first ones to remember are flow and flexibility, okay? So right off the hop, we want to realize that nothing is perfect, right? We want to go with the flow. We want things to be flexible because it's inevitable that something's going to happen. There's going to be bumps along the way, right? Someone will forget to pack something. There might be a traffic jam. There might be flight delays. This is all part of life. And so when we can respond versus react, go with the flow and be flexible, then we can really model this behavior for our children. Let them know that these small little setbacks aren't going to derail our trip. And I promise you, I wouldn't be a mom if I didn't have snacks with me. I'm always carrying something. It helps when you have those little setbacks. These are go-go squeeze, organic, fresh fruit, vegetables in some of them. And it just helps to kind of take the pressure off. So the first thing to remember is flow and flexibility. Because they, the kids can see when you're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. they, they can see it on your face. And when you're stressed, then they become stressed and it doesn't become fun. Okay, so um, next F word is? The next F word is form, okay? so. Being flexible is great when it comes to travel and plans, right? So, you know, understanding that there's going to be bumps along the way, but having some form within the freedom of family travel, especially when you're with kids, is really going to make things smooth the whole way through. So this means incorporating some structure, having some boundaries, some routines, and really making that known at the onset. Having that family meeting or talking to your partner, really understanding that there's going to be some guidelines, there's going to be some routine, and that's going to help things really go smoothly. So I like to do that by maintaining a bedtime routine, even when we're on the road, even when we're traveling. Okay. And this is really great because I'm sure you can attest to this, right? But I have a lot of data to prove this. The research in my family shows that when my kids are tired, the rate of meltdowns, tantrums, uh, sibling fighting, it goes up substantially. So we want to make sure that they are rested and that they're at their best. So something as simple as bringing that familiar blanket, having some bath time products that you use at home can really help maintain that, that bedtime routine. Now, I love Johnson's for their ingredient transparency. They have beautiful, naturally derived products that are science backed, which makes things gentle for baby, but it also is doing the job. So a nice head to toe wash, bringing that bath time lotion, or my secret trick here is bringing these washcloths along. Now I mentioned I have a toddler, but sometimes my six-year-old and my eight-year-old make more of a mess than my toddler does. So these are really great because you can bring them anywhere. They go in the beach bag, in the car, in the suitcase, and you can clean up wherever you need to. Okay, so we're, with we, that we're, we're running out of time, uh, Andriana, and okay. uh, the, the last one is where well, you have to have fun, okay? We so have to have we, fun. Have we have to have fun. To have where, fun. Can, where can people follow along? You can join me at Instagram at Andreana G. Remember to have fun for you, not just the kids.